This is an internal training video for Epic Online. In this presentation we will be covering on what to do before session starts. When it comes to your Epic Online sessions being prepared is one of the most important things you can do. As Benjamin Franklin says, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. You can start this by with the e-scheduler and logging in and plotting way in advance. You will be given the user ID and password when it is needed. So don't worry about this. You don't just have to plot for the next week, you can plot months in advance. By doing this, you have a much better chance to get your sessions booked. And you can change and cancel up to 3 hours before the session provided that there are other coaches who have plotted on the same schedule that you are trying to pull out of. If there's no coaches on these time slot, you are otherwise have to consult the monitoring team. This is to make sure that our students are not left in the lurch because they have booked the session and you have reasons for not being able to do the session, and there should be somebody else who take this. Booked session cannot be cancelled by coach within 3 hours before the session. So before you start the session make sure you sign in on Skype and e-scheduler 5 minutes to the hour which would be 10 minutes before your session. Make sure you study the client profile if the client is new to you. The client profile discusses what the client does. What the company does and also covers all the preferences. What the students want to gain out of being on Epic Online. Whilst it is important to keep the student happy because they are our customer, but we are actually paid by their school which they belong to or their employer. So when it comes to conflict, I think the paymaster will prevail. So the client profile is important. And sometimes if the student wanted to do something that's different, you have to explain to them that the company or the employer or the school has given specific instructions. And you'd be happy to note that the student wants something different and will bring it up. And your account manager will bring it up to the client. But do make sure you note this in your report or let him know so that they can let the account manager know as well. Also make sure you study the student profile of the student who is new to you. Make the student feel that you took the trouble to get to know him or her beforehand. This is very important because the student is not assigned to one fixed coach. So he or she is being bounced to different coaches. We don't want the student to feel that it's very disjointed. So it is important that you don't ask the student to introduce himself or herself this time. And if you want to ask something about the student, you learn something from his profile, and ask him specific question about things that you have learned from his profile. Give him the feeling that you actually know him already beforehand. For example, it could be one of his hobbies. You can ask him specific questions about his hobby. Perhaps in relation to a current event. Or if you have checked the previous session that there was a discussion about something, you can actually bring it up as a kind of an update. To give a more specific example, Maybe the student was into basketball and there was some basketball tournament or big NBA thing that just happened. You can ask the student about that. Have they been following the NBA? Did they watch the game last night? Make sure you read the student report. Just discussed, you can find out what happened on the previous session and what the coach discussed and what the previous coach uses content. And they would have also emphasized the area for improvement. So rather just asking the student in small talk, you can actually recap on what they did previously as well before moving on to the new content. In the previous session as well, the coach would have left instructions on what content should be used for your session. All the links will be listed and they are in our content library. Before you start your session, do make sure that the links work. If they don't, be sure to contact the monitoring team or the content development team and they will come and look after you. Make sure to reboot your PC, if this is your first session for the day. Do your speed test. And inform the monitoring team if your speed does not meet the requirements that we've said previously. 
do make sure your webcam and your headset and your recorder is working. For Skype, you can use it to check, there is a Skype test call which you can use to check your headset is working and your microphone is working properly. Do make sure to turn off your mobile phone, and take your landline off the hook if it's in the same room. Setting it in on vibrate is not an option because it is also disrupting the session. The student would probably hear it, probably ringing on the table or buzzing quietly in the background. It is a disruption and it is not very professional. Speaking of professional, make sure your background looks clean and professional as well. Cleta does not look nice. We want to promote is always a premium service. Also make sure there are no people walking behind you and no movements because it can distract the students. Dogs and other animals, kids should always settle down and does not disrupt the session. Do make sure you've gone to the toilet before your session and that you have a glass of water beside you. You are not allowed to get at the middle of the session to do all these things. And if you have fan in the room, make sure it's quiet and pointing away from your microphone, otherwise it can also cause a disruption as well. That's all for now for Epic Online Pre-Session. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to get in contact with one of us. Thank you. Bye.